Welcome back everyone. I wanted to show you now how to use the slab technique with the salt dough. We are going to be creating a layered composition using a movie poster as inspiration. One of my favorites is Jaws. First you're going to draw out your image making sure that you have all of your layers defined as a background, middle ground, and foreground. In case you need a reminder here is our salt dough recipe. I already have one cup of salt in the bowl and to that I'm going to add two cups of flour. I'm also going to add one cup of cool or room temperature water, but I'm only going to use half at first. I'm going to try to combine as many of my ingredients as I can. Then I'm going to go ahead and combine the second half of the water. I'm going to knead this dough together until it's consistent. I noticed that my dough was a little bit dry, so I added just a little bit more water. You're gonna combine all of the ingredients until there's nothing left in the bowl. After I combine my ingredients, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to my workspace so that my dough does not stick. After all, we are gonna be pressing down on our dough to roll out our slab. But before we're gonna do that, we're gonna take one third of our dough and put it off to the side to use for our multiple layers. If you don't have a rolling pin at home, that's fine. You can use a Crayola marker, you could use a dowel rod, whatever you find on hand. Just make sure that when you're rolling out your dough, you want a 1 4th inch consistent thickness. If you're unsure of what a fourth of an inch or a half inch looks like, by all means, go ahead and grab a ruler. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna measure out our background. For my background, I used a four by six inch rectangle, but I would highly suggest that you go a little bit bigger. I would maybe do a six by 10 or even an eight by 10. Just remember that when you are going to be cutting your salt dough, you wanna make sure that you're always dipping the tool that you're cutting with in water. That way, the tool will not stick to the dough. Now that you have your background layer cut out, we're gonna take our sketch and take a look and see what we wanna put on top of that background, your middle ground. You're gonna take your background and put it off to the side, roll out a little bit of that dough that you saved, take your sketch and put it on top of the dough using either a colored pencil or a pen or a regular pencil. You're gonna trace over those letters so that you have an imprint of your design onto the clay. This way, you don't have to draw anything freehand. If you did a good job on your sketch, you just saved yourself a lot of time. We purposely color-coded our sketch so that we knew what went on top of the background, what we're calling our middle ground. And for us, for my design, I wanted to use the letters of the word jaws and the shark. So first we'll do the letters. Once again, make sure that you keep dipping your tool in the water. Take your time at this stage to make sure that you're not ripping the dough. You don't want all the hard work that you just did to trace your letters or your image to be for nothing because the dough gets misshapen. Take advantage of any shortcut that you might see. I know that all of my letters were the same height at the top and the bottom. So what I did was I took my plastic knife and I just went across all of those letters to ensure that they were all the same height. I found that this plastic butter knife is actually a really useful tool with the salt dough. So if you have any tools around the house that you think might work, try them out. They can't hurt. So now we're gonna take a look at the shark. 
we're going to use more of that leftover salt dough and we're going to put our sketch on top of that piece trace it as best as we can it doesn't have to be perfect but the closer you are to the original the less you're going to have to do freehand Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the outline of the mouth. I want it to look as though the shark's mouth is open to create depth. By cutting out this spot, I'm gonna create negative space, again, to create that illusion of depth. Now that I have most of my images cut out, I'm gonna make sure that they are secure. I'm gonna go ahead and take my tool and a little bit of water. I'm going to score the back of each of my letters and score my background where I'd like them, them to be placed and add a little bit of water as though it's our glue. Just remember that when I say the word score, I just mean to make rough. When you are trying to bond two surfaces together, they tend to stick better if both surfaces are rough. By painting on a little bit of water around the shark and around the letters, I'm just securing that bond. I'm going to take the back of my paintbrush for the nose. Then I'm going to take a small piece of clay, roll it into a ball and divide it in half so that I have two equal parts. Those are going to be the eyes. I'm going to score a little bit, add a little bit of water and secure the eyes on there. They are a little bit big right now, but that's okay. We'll trim them down later. Now it's time to make the teeth. Remember that our background is our rectangle in the back. Our middle ground is our jaws letters and our shark. Now it's our foreground. Our foreground is our eyes. And now they're also going to be our teeth. As a reminder, the foreground is the closest object to the viewer in a composition. Instead of making another row of teeth, I'm just going to take those little cutout triangles from that top row and slip and score them on the bottom. Now what we want to do is blend in those bottom row of teeth. We're going to take a very thin row of the salt dough, lay it on top of those bottom teeth, and then blend it in. By doing this, we're going to make sure that those bottom teeth are secure and it's also going to create a bottom lip for the shark. Now I'm going to go ahead and stand those teeth up so that they look like they're sticking out. I'm going to go ahead and trim down those eyes so that they look a little smaller, but they also look a little bit more menacing. By blending that dough in, it's also gonna make sure that those eyes don't pop off. And now for our swimmer. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna attach my swimmer to the background. I noticed that my shark is just a little bit too big. So in a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and trim him down. Now in hindsight, I probably should have just taken my letters and moved them up. To finish it off, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to secure everything down and make some finishing touches. Thanks for watching everyone.